All right, folks, here it is, the most controversial physical media release of the year, quite possibly of all time. The Dark Sky Films, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 50th Anniversary, limited edition release. I'm not sure what else there is to say about this one. I did a video recently discussing my thoughts on this release and how I was able to get some hands-on time with it at Horror Hound Weekend in Cincinnati. Go check that video out. But the amount of salt that's been directed not only at this release, but at the people who have actually shelled out the coin to, to purchase it um, has been a bit much. I was accused of having a mental illness for buying this thing. And I know of at least one other creator who caught a lot of flack for having purchased it. So the comments on this video, I'm sure are gonna be interesting. But without further ado, let's get to unboxing. And there we are. And Here it is. Here is the box that everything comes in. And um, nice box, nice sturdy feeling box. You've got some cool artwork there. Some cool artwork on the side of the box. Texas Chainsaw Massacre 50th anniversary there. On the top of the, oh, on, on the back of the box we have Leatherface. And out of 5,000 that were produced, I snagged number 103. All right, so enough with the box. What really matters is what is inside the box. And there it is, the chainsaw. It is snugly packed, surrounded by styrofoam. There is the saw part of the saw. It's got the 50th anniversary Texas Chainsaw Massacre logo on it. It's spattered in blood, as you would expect from Leatherface's chainsaw. I'm sure he doesn't, he probably doesn't clean his chainsaw very often. Well, clearly not, because this is, this is pretty filthy. This chainsaw's, it's, it's pretty filthy. And the saw slides in like so. And there you go. The chainsaw. Now, when it comes to the saw itself, because, I mean, this is going to be the display piece, right? I mean, this is, this is, um, this has to be the bulk of the price that those of us who paid for this item, um, the bulk of the money must have had to go into the saw. So as far as the look and the feel and the, the, the quality of the saw, um, it looks pretty good. It's a decent size. Um, as far as detail, it's definitely dirty. It's definitely uh, old looking. It's got a lot of scuffs and uh, uh, damage on it. It's got a decent weight to it, but there's stuff inside the saw, which we're going to get to momentarily. Um, just the saw itself, I mean, is pretty cool. It will definitely make a great display piece. Oh, wow. This piece is very, very flimsy. Oh, my goodness. This piece here underneath the, the handle. Um, wow, that is very, very flimsy. My goodness. That would not take very much to just break right off. That is very, very flimsy. So be very, very careful with this piece here. My goodness. It's like, it's just barely hanging on. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Let's, let's move on from that. Otherwise the saw is pretty cool. Is it $300 cool? 
eh, is there $300 worth of material here or $200 worth of material here or $100 worth of material here? No. The saw opens up like so. It's actually held together with magnets, but it opens up right in the middle. And there we have, oh goodness. Here we have the 4K and the VHS for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, now wait a minute, wasn't this thing supposed to make a chainsaw sound when I opened it? Let's see, what is this? Do I have to lift that? There you go. The audio quality um, on that chainsaw sound could definitely be better. It could be much better. As for the 4K and the VHS that are inside the chainsaw, they are in there pretty snug. They are in there very, very snug. Um, how do I get, okay, here we go. They, they're, they're, they ain't going nowhere, that's for sure. As a matter of fact, I don't, I don't know if I can get them out. They're, they're in there tight, holy Lord. I may need a chainsaw to get these things out of here. My goodness, they are in there tight, holy crap. So there's these clasps inside the compartments that uh, hold the VHS and the 4K inside the chainsaw and um that the they're difficult to get out they're um you, you gotta kind of have to use both hands um to and, and even then it's difficult to to get the things out um as far as the chainsaw without the blue or the 4k and the vhs inside it's still a pretty decent weight i mean it you know still looks pretty good definitely need to hold it right there on the handle to keep it together the magnets that hold the thing um aren't that strong um it turns out here is the 50th anniversary 4k with that very nice slip cover on it. And here is the VHS. And of course the artwork on this VHS is a reproduction of the original VHS artwork for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And um, they did a really good job of reproducing it. On the back of the VHS, they have the opening crawl. For them an idyllic summer afternoon drive became a nightmare. The events of that day were to lead to the discovery of one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And that's it. We have the 4K, the VHS, and the 50th anniversary commemorative chainsaw. Stick around to the end of the video. I'll have some up-close and personal footage of the chainsaw from the 50th anniversary Dark Sky Films Texas Chainsaw Massacre limited edition for you guys to sink your eyes into. So is this release perfect? No, not by a long shot. But the question here is, is it worth the $300 price tag? Is there $300 worth of material here? Um, no. Is there $300 worth of new stuff here? No. Is the chainsaw itself, even though it's a really cool display piece, worth $300? No. Was this release overpriced? Big time. But as a collector and as a hardcore fan of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, my all-time favorite horror film, the ultimate horror film, in my opinion, I have zero buyer's remorse. It's going to make a great display piece in my collection. Um, <laughs> I just have to find room for it now, which is going to be, uh, which is going to be a problem, but make room for it. I will.
So in summary, the chainsaw itself, it looks cool. It feels pretty good. This piece right here, you breathe on it too hard. It's going to come flying off. I wish the magnet that held all this together was a little stronger. The chainsaw sound. Could be better, but I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that the battery for the chainsaw sound um, probably ain't going to last long. Not that I'm going to be opening and closing this thing a lot, mind you. I mean, I've got two other 4K releases of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre I could pull from the shelf. I've got the, the Dark Sky release already and the awesome Second Side Films Limited Edition release. And as far as the VHS is concerned, um... A, I don't have a VCR. I've not owned a VCR in years. It'll make a cool display piece, but I've already got the original media VHS release in my Texas Chainsaw Massacre shrine already. It was through that release many, many, many years ago that I first saw the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it blew my mind. And all these years later made me want to spend big money on something like this. Thanks, Toby. But in all honesty, again, no buyer's remorse, no regrets. I'm glad to be able to add this to my collection. Let me know your thoughts on the Dark Sky Films 50th Anniversary Limited Edition Texas Chainsaw Massacre release down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time. Keith.
A huge thank you to all my patrons and channel members for your generosity and support. Become a patron today and get early access to videos, have a say in what content appears on my channel, join me for monthly live streams, exclusive watch parties, and more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream, as well as members-only watch parties. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.